We have an update for you now on that breaking news that we told you about at the top of the newscast. This picture is from a Jefferson County neighborhood where people are being asked to stay inside their homes while the ATF, Jefferson County, and Denver bomb squads prepare to search a home for explosives. So far, they have not entered that particular home. Investigators have been at the home on Swadley Way near Quincy and Sims since about 7 o'clock this morning. They tell us that one person is in custody. We'll have updates for you on the denverchannel.com as this situation progresses. Right now, we want to give you another live look at the Pentagon, where the Pentagon is going to be holding a briefing shortly. Secretary of Defense Panetta and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff are expected to talk about the just-announced decision to allow women to serve in combat positions. We will come back to this room when the briefing starts. And... Uh, we will bring you all of those details. It looks like they're expecting something to happen any minute, but until it does, we're going to move on and show you uh, some other things that are happening in the, in the news this morning. Houston police are just releasing this intense video of a shootout. A police officer and a bystander were injured in the shootout. Deputy Charles Scott was chasing bank robbery suspects. Investigators say they stopped their van, they opened the back door, and sprayed Scott's squad car with an automatic weapon. Now, this happened in 2010. Scott, the officer, was shot in the head, but he has now fully recovered. Police did shoot and kill one of the suspects, and the others were taken into custody. No criminal charges are being filed in the shooting death of a Lakewood police officer, James Davies. He was shot and killed, you may recall, at a Lakewood home in November when another officer mistook him for a potential suspect. The investigation revealed that Davies was likely standing on a ladder peering over the fence when another officer who was searching for a potential suspect saw him. And that officer, D.J. Braley, saw a head and a gun over the fence. And according to the investigative report, Braley said it, been, it had been his understanding that there was an outstanding person who was possibly armed and when he saw the person with a gun he was afraid that he was going to get shot and killed so Braley said he yelled police drop the gun drop the gun and that's when Davies was shot and killed according to the district attorney Braley was one of the last officers to arrive on the scene given the details that he knew at that time he was justified in using self-defense in that situation a committee put together by Lakewood's police chief is going to review the policies and procedures, and any findings are expected to take two to three months, but we will pass them on to you.